Place I've been stuck for a year. See, I once was a cop till things went awry. Me and the chief didn't see eye to eye. Kicked off the force. They said I was wrong for sticking my nose where it didn't belong. But when I get a hunch, I'm always prone. To find it hard to leave it alone Solving cases is all I ever know No choice but to set up on my own That's the reason why The door says Mickey Diamond P.I. Found myself pounding the pavements between every house To find missing cats or a swindling spouse When this letter arrived on the mat Asking yours truly to meet for a chat Dear Mr. Diamond, I just don't know what to do I really need some help, a friendly face Precious family heirloom, a necklace made of pearls Has vanished from my room without a trace I work down at a club in town, a singer, I'm a star A bar on Randolph that I'm sure you'll know I promise a reward, the most I can afford Warmest of regards Yours, George Eastman. That bar on Randolph, that's the one I was investigating last year. An exclusive underground joint that specialized in wine and cheese. Menage of fromage. <laughs> I get serve a drink? Whiskey on the rocks. Oh, no can do, monsieur. We only serve the finest wines and cheeses in this establishment. Okay, um, red? Ha! Huh. A fine choice. Classy. Grab that wheel of Wensleydale. If we don't get the shipment to the dock before sundown, we ain't gonna get that cab. Sure thing, boss. Good. Larry, go check on Georgie. I know she's upset, but we need to make sure she's keeping her big mouth shut. Else we're all gonna end up in the hoose scout. Peace. Yes, boss. Fingers, you and me. Yes, yeah, so, hey, 
can't believe you've been expecting me. Miss Snow. Oh, please, call me Georgie. <laughs> I'm Miss Snow. Uh, Monsieur, you're... <clears throat> red. Thanks, buddy. Now then, miss, I, I mean, Georgie, perhaps you could tell me a little more about the case. Oh, it's not the case that I care about. It's the pearls that were inside. They're what I need back. Quite. <laughs> They're worth a fortune, Mickey. And I'd be very, very grateful to have them retained. <laughs> I gathered that from your letter. <laughs> You said there's a reward for their safe return? Oh, find them for me, Mickey, and a hundred dollars is all yours. A hundred? Right. <laughs> well, first things first, then. Do you have any idea who could have taken them? Oh, well, I do have my suspicions. Georgie, sweetie, it's almost time for your number. Who's this? Oh, hello, darling. This is Mickey. He's helping me with my little problem. Mickey Diamond, P.I. Mickey, this is Frankie Gambino, my fiance. A pleasure, Mr. Diamond. Though I'm sure your services will not be required. As I've already told Georgie a hundred times, we will find her poils. I'm sure of it. Well, I must be going. The stage won't fill itself with insatiable star power. The pun is words, not mine. I'll catch you boys later. Yeah, the pearls, the pearls. You seem a little irked by my presence, Mr. Gambino. You sure you don't have a problem with me looking around? This guy causing any trouble, boss? Not all. Stand down, boys. Now, listen here, Mr. Diamond. We ain't got nothing to hide. Who are your pals? <laughs> Fingers McGee, Shifty Jim, Larry the Rat. Meet Mr. Mickey Diamond, P.I. Interesting names. Larry the Rat? Yeah. He got it because he likes cheese. Yeah, no other reason. Now, we got business to attend to. Perhaps we should leave you in peace to enjoy the show. Thank you, gentlemen. It was very nice meeting you all. Come on. Shifty, stop looking so shifty. Sorry, boss. Ladies and gentlemen, the moment you've all been waiting for, Menage Fromage is proud to present Miss Georgie Snow. When I was just a little girl of maybe six or seven, my mama gave me this advice to find myself a rich young man on who I could rely to buy me all the pretty things that daddy used to buy. It's hard to pin your hopes and dreams upon a single man So many are so generous and sweet <laughs> So not to be outdone, I don't rely on one Cause I make use of every man I meet If I'm in the mood for champagne and a meal the back of my she seals me the deal Cause these men lose their minds And I'm the one who's eaten for free Ooh. Trust me, I know it works more than you think Girls, it's been years since I bought my own drink Cause these men lose their minds And everything is coming up me As a boring old millionaire's wife All I need is my dazzling smile I'll never have to work a single day in my life I smear on my lipstick And then in a flash I'm quickly surrounded by presents and cash Cause these men lose their minds And everything is coming up me I just can't resist 
from the moment I start looking sad The guys in that vicinity all flock to assist And that's an opportunity that shouldn't be missed Oh, like it or not, and see it in art George's hired him. Where's Larry the Rat? Oh, they're coming. I gotta go. Huh. There you are, Larry. Hey, boss. Look, boys, we got a problem here. Are you sure it's him, boss? Oh, he's definitely the guy. The one who was sniffing around before. I heard he got kicked off the force. For insubordination. Big words, fingers. You been reading the dictionary? Yeah, maybe I have, you ignoramus. I Enough! That means something. We got a big problem here, boys. Ever since they brought in those new pasteurization laws, they've been busting cheesemakers all over the city. Curdy Pete got put away for seven years for distributing illegal mozzarella. We're walking a fine line here, boys. Well, look, he ain't a cop no more. Yeah, but that means there ain't nobody holding his leash. But he's a civilian. So we can just call the cops on him. Exactly. We can't call the cops on him, you idiot. What are we gonna do next? Invite him to our business meetings? Think, Fingers, think. Uh, sorry, boss. Uh, George! Hi, <laughs> sweetie. Come to tell me how fabulous I was. You, uh, you, you were fabulous, as usual, sweetie. Now, what do you think you're doing bringing that guy into the club? Look, Frankie, those pearls mean a lot to me. And we will get them back. But you can't be bringing in cops or PIs or... or and why is that, Frankie? You got some in a hide? Why, no. <laughs> Everything is totally legitimate. Right, boys? Yeah, yeah that's fine. right. Look at yeah. Ooh, great. Then what's the problem? Well, I'm not. I'm going to my boudoir. Boss, what are we going to do? We can't have that man snooping around the club. It's the big cheese. Are you going to answer it, boss? I want to hear this part. No, no. Well, this time. Move out of the way. Hi, boss. Frankie, I heard you're in some trouble. Trouble? What are you talking about? Our old friend Diamond sniffing around the Goudas. What? How do you know about that? Let's just say a little bird told me. Or should I say, little rat? No, you were right the first time. The expression's little bird. Ain't I right, Larry? Um... Right! Enough! It's all under control, boss. We can deal with Diamond. Really? Because I think the only way to deal with Diamond is to send him for a swim in some concrete brokes. Who swims in shoes? What's a bad idea anyway? Concrete's really heavy. You drown. Exactly! Whoa, 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 whoa. Well, 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 there's no need for anything like that. Everything is on track for this evening's delivery. I wish I were filled with as much confidence as you, Frankie. This is the biggest single shipment of Wensleydale this country has ever seen. If the authorities found out about this, you'd be banged up for life. Look, I've poured a lot of money into this project and my buyer is paying through the nose for this shipment. My professional reputation is riding on this. And you wouldn't want to tarnish that, would you? No, boss. Then you know what you've got to do. So, uh, what do we do, boss? Well, she's in charge, but she probably do what she says. Whoa, 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 let's not jump to any conclusions. This is heavy stuff. 
I think we need a visit to our beneficiary. Come on, boys. I have. I put them there. <laughs> you can't keep ignoring them, Mickey. What you gonna do if they cut the phone line? Guess I'll have to start using pigeons. I'm being serious. Look, second written warning on the phone line, uh, final warning on the gas and electric, and the landlord called for you again. Hey, I got money coming in now. New case. Big one. Bit of a shady deal going down at that seedy place on West Randolph. Oh, the cheese joint? <laughs> what about it? Singer there lost her pearls, offered me a hundred bucks to find them. So, you know where to look? Nope. But I'm gonna start. Anyway, in the meantime... What? You know what. Fine. I'll send out rubber checks and a sob story. Atta girl. This isn't how I imagined working for a PI, you know. The cleaning up your messy finances. <laughs> Hell, if I was running this place... Well, you ain't, sweetheart. Yeah, well, one day I will. Not this place, no. My own company. Lily Lake P.I. Yeah, that'll be the day. It's Chief Warndale. Oh, shoot. I'm not here. Oh, but... Just get rid of her. Oh. I'm looking for Diamond. He's under the desk. Damn it. So, Diamond, still crawling around in places you shouldn't be? I was just looking for, um... Look, what are you doing here? We just checking up on you. Seeing how you're finding an employment since our little disagreement. Hey, I'm still working. I'm just working alone now. No one to obstruct me no more. You was obstructed for a reason, Diamond. You were a maverick. You wouldn't listen to orders, and you wouldn't stay away from things that was gonna get you burnt. Now, my boys here say that you've been seen sniffing around that cheese place again. What if I have? Hey, maybe I'm just a big fan of Stilton. You've been warned before, Diamond, to stay away from that place. I ain't one of your cops no more, Mabel. I might not be your boss, punk, but I'm still a police chief. You might want to lose the wit before you're spouting it through the prison bars. <laughs> you ain't got nothing on me. <laughs> oh, yeah? Breaching the peace. Disrespecting an officer. Just watch your back, Diamond, and stay away from the club, you hear me? Come on, boys. Oh, boy. You gonna listen to them? Do I ever listen to anybody? I'm heading back over there now. No, wait, the landlord's coming over. He said if you don't speak to him today, we'll be out on the street by tomorrow. Well, you better go pay him a visit first. Well, why me? Because you can bat your little lashes and tell him the money's on its way. Count on you, kid. Move to the big city, I thought. Follow my dreams. This isn't exactly what I had in mind. I had a plan when I began to set up business on my own. Put in a bid, but since I was a kid, the bank refused to give me a loan. And when the landlord tells you you'll be out on the street, if you don't cough up every last cent, dreams get lost in Chicago, cause a dream ain't never paid no rent. Me too. Me three. I've been down a lot of saving every buck since the grand drove me in. <laughs> I wanted to start by selling my art, but where the heck to even begin? And when the only pain that'll bring in a set is the bullshit. 
mansion in the living room walls. Dreams get lost in Chicago, cause they're dreaming what could they at all. sister. It don't work like that in this town. You've got to pay the same as everybody else and your bill is now months overdue. Well, if we could afford a lawyer. I bet you can't. And besides, I'm the chief of the police in this town. What I say goes, right? Right. Oh dear me, we're barely making ends meet as it is. It's only thanks to the donations that are keeping those poor, feeble kids off the streets. Well, you better get those donators to dig deep because you owe the state $200 by the end of the day. Maybe you could run a bake sale. Oh, I love a bake sale. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, quiet! We'll expect you this evening. Good day, sister. Oh, dear me, what are we going to do? Knock, knock. Oh, boys always be too long. Oh, look at you. Oh, James, you're getting awfully thin. You lose a wit now. Have you been eating? Yes, Sister O'Hare, I've been eating. Not nearly enough. You're wasting away. I'll ask Sister Bridget to get you a bowl of soup. Now, boys, thank goodness you're here. I've had a visit from that terrible woman from the police station. They're demanding money from me. I don't know what to do. Money? How much, sister? More than the Sunday's plate collection, I'll tell you that for free. Two hundred dollars. Oh, gee. Jelly and ice cream. Thank you. <laughs> Those dirty rats. Now, now, Paul, they're pigs, dear pigs. Larry the Rat, right? Um, what? Me? No, I'm not a rat. Yes, you are. What do you mean? Larry the Rat, that's your name? Oh, come your on, name, come right, down. yeah. Larry, Larry. Sorry. You got it, you got it. There we go. Okay. Anyway, boys, we could use a little cash flow injection right about now, if you know what I mean. By the end of the day, actually. I don't know. $200 oh, oh, oh. is such... Before I forget, the orphans wanted to come say hello. Come on, kids. They've been oh, practicing oh. all day, singing their songs with Sister Mickinson, haven't you, my little angels? We missed you too, kids. I was Well, you better go find it. We've been practicing a song for you. Would you like to hear it? Well, of course we would. Go on, kids.
Wasn't that sweet seeing their happy little faces? Now, where were we? The money. Ah, yes, the money. That money we need to help keep those pitiful, wretched kids off the streets. Okay, fine. We'll scrape it together out of the cash in the safe. Oh, had a boy, Frankie. Moving dough around, though. That might be a little tricky. Can we speak privately? Certainly, boys. What's said in the convent stays in the convent. Well, honestly, sister, we're in trouble here. There's this guy, Diamond, who keeps showing up at our joint. He's a private investigator. Yeah, he's been investigating privately. And he's putting us on edge. You're always on the edge, Larry. Always you eat too much damn much cheese. You need Anyhow... To we need to get rid of him somehow. We're just worried about... Assault! Oh, well, honestly, sister, when this all began, it was great. The bar was doing great. And exporting a little cheese on the side, though not 100% legal, well, it brought in enough money to cover our charity work. And very much it appreciated was, too. But the further room we get, the more pressure we're under from the big cheese for, for well... You. A bigger cheese! Exactly! Uh, and the more we lie and cheat, well, it goes against everything you ever taught us. And we wouldn't be here if it weren't for this place bringing us up. Except for Larry, of course. But you came from another orphanage, right, Larry? Um, yeah, that's right, boss. Ah, <laughs> oh, boys, I know you only transgress the way you do to keep up with your generous donations. And without those, there'll be hundreds of kids on the street. You're our lifeline. Now, I don't think you need to worry about your souls. The Lord is very forgiven, especially in extenuating circumstances such as these. The Lord is a forgiving God If ever we transgress He grants us soul forgiveness If we feel in righteousness A little stealing here and there Provided you repent is not a problem in his eyes as long as the event is not done for revenge or for your personal gain for lust or greed or vanity allow me to explain stealing bread to begin though it's technically sin if you're feeding the starving that's fair if you say take a pass on just one early mass let's be honest the Lord will not care Though those ten great commandments were chiseled in stone If you sometimes slip up, whoops, you can always atone Though the many a questionable acts I'd applaud Provided you're doing the work of a lot I'm sure God overlooks that you're cooking the books While you're selling your cheeses and wines Just as long as it's for the orphanage Sisters. Tax evasion's not funny and laundering money is something we'd never condone. Unless cash that you make is for charity's sake, then I'm sure God will leave you alone. Becoming a loan shark, although it's not nice, is something that everyone does once or twice. My underground gambling, although it's a chore, is keeping the bailiffs away from the door. Though we generally caution against blackmail. Extortion, a wee little portion's been nice. Just as long as it's for the orphanage, you're fine. If we should have
and the big guy will make you a deal. Let's get back to that club. Check that detective isn't up to no good or you'll have to break his legs. What? What? Nothing. Come along now, boys. Bye bye now. something. Uh, who, Chief? Who do you think, Knucklehead? Diamond! I thought he won a problem no more. He ain't, but, but that's not the point. He needs to learn that everyone in this town answers to me. I told him not to go sticking his nose where he didn't belong, and still, he wouldn't stay away from menage a fromage. Why are you trying to keep him out of that place anyway? It's the principle of the thing, Hammond. The, the guy is a maverick, a loose cannon, and loose cannons ain't no laughing matter. When things get rough, a loose cannon can go off and destroy everything in its path. So, what have we got to do? Stay out of his way. Talk him around. Knock him out. Run him out of town. Lock him up. Tie him down. Precisely. <laughs> It was reckless, rash, and bold He'd never do what we've been told We've cut up standards to uphold I had to kick him out I took his bag, I took his gun I figured that my job was done This hogwash has gone on too long I know without a doubt that kid's a loose cannon, loose cannon. He snapped his morning time And we ain't safe while he's at large And that kid don't know Jack He take whatever steps to choose A rebel who had zip to lose And now if I were in his shoes I'd have to watch my back Cause he's a loose cat He snapped his morning ties He needs a strong Perhaps you can tell me a little more about these pearls. Oh, they're worth a fortune, Mickey. A family heirloom, you know. I always wore them on stage to perform. And I finished my set on Thursday night, exited the stage to a standing ovation as usual, and headed back to my dressing room. When I got there, I put them on the table and changed behind the screen. Then I heard the door open. I called out, ah, oh, but no one answered. And so I looked around the screen, and I just glimpsed the back of a man dressed all in black running out. And I looked at the table, and the piles had gone. You know, I think he might have taken them. Write that down. I think that's quite important. Of course. <laughs> Look, now then, Georgie, um, 
Did, did you get a look at the guy's face? You know, any distinguishing characteristics? Oh, he wasn't distinguished at all, Mr. Diamond. He was a thief. Anyway, I only saw the back of him, so... Could I see the dressing room? Oh, of course. Come right this way. Oh, hey, Shifty. Georgie, Mr. Diamond, you're here too. Great. Stop acting so shifty, shifty, you know. Oh, you got the place looking lovely, boys. Little table at the front, such tasteful decor, very nice. Thanks, sister. <laughs> oh, boss. Uh, not now, Larry. Right, the police station closes in an hour, correct? Right. Good. Let's get you out of here with that cash as quickly as possible. Shifty, go bring the van round so we can load up the cheese. But, Fingers, boss. now is not the time for chit-chat. We cannot be late with the big cheese is big cheese. Got it? Mickey? Oh, who the hell is that? Quick, Ooh. in here. Ah. Go, 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 go. Ah. Oh, hello there. I I'm looking for my boss, Mickey Diamond. Who? Mickey Diamond. <laughs> Never heard of him. <laughs> he ain't here. Really? Because that's his coat right there. Well, uh, we ain't seen nothing. There's nothing going on here. Why do you sound so shifty? Uh, <laughs> uh, I think you went that way. Thank you. Oh my God, thank you so much. Well played, boys. You idiots better go keep an eye on them. Right, come on, sister. This way, Mr. Whoa. Diamond. Oh, shoot! <laughs> he ran out of my room! And I followed him as fast as I could, and I escaped through that door. Where does that lead? Oh, I wouldn't know. Frankie, he don't let me go in there, says I'm not allowed. But he says there's nothing untoward going on in there. Oh, I just don't know what to do. Well... Don't worry, Mickey Diamond's on the case, and this has certainly given me a place to begin my investigations. You don't mind if I take a closer look around the club? Oh, no, of course, be my guest, but Mr. Diamond, please, don't get caught going into that room, whatever you do. Remember, nobody is allowed in there. Don't worry, Georgie, I'm a professional. Whoa! <laughs> Lovely to see you again, Mr. Diamond. Likewise. Would you mind if I took a look in that room? Which room? This room. Oh, you mean that room over there? No, this room. <laughs> oh, this room. Well, I'd rather you didn't. Why? What's in there? Nothing. Nothing at all. It's empty. It's an empty closet. <laughs> what silly me! What was that? <laughs> uh, probably just a mouse. Sounded like a big mouse. Are you sure that ain't the room where you keep the cheese? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, the, the cheese, the legal cheese that we sell in the club. So can I take a look? Well, uh, I'd rather you do. Ah, oh, Mr. Diamond, you must be so exhausted with all the investigating. Take a rest for a little. Well, I'm afraid investigating waits for no man, Shifty. But we, um, uh, we, we want to show you a dance. A dance? Sure. A dance. Come here. You're going to love it. Dancing is a lot more fun than investigating. You can tip tap your way right into a smile later there'll be lots of time for your contemplating but right now it's time to hit the dance floor in style come join the latest craze that's sweeping the nation and gathering fame just watch and see, keep eyes on me. Okay then, what's its name? <laughs> what's its name? <laughs> There's no name, boys. What's the name? <laughs> it's the distraction, distraction. Can cause a chain reaction. You dance your way across the floor. Forget what you were looking for. It's fun to be so fancy free. So why not take a chance and flip your focus onto the distraction dance? Come and join in the fun. It's, it's even, even better with two. two. Dancing is a lot more fun when you dance together. So let's partner up and keep on dancing.
tapping your feet. It might seem like we've been keeping your stall forever, but, but don't, don't you fret, cause dance is really a treat. <laughs> and when those jungle drums begin to rumble, you'll very soon find that you'll enjoy it even more if you don't look behind. I keep looking this way, we need something to draw his attention. Oh, I think I can help! Come on, Mr. Diamond, come this yeah. way. Just get you know, over there. Yeah. Yeah. Don't tell me you don't know this. It's the distraction, distraction can cause a chain reaction. Just keep on dancing in your head. And don't go looking over there. It's fun to be so fancy free, so why not take a chance and flip your focus onto the distraction dance? It's a distraction, distraction can cause a chain reaction. Once again, it's fun to be so fancy free, so why not take a chance and flip your focus onto the distraction dance? Yes, ma'am, uh, no, ma'am. <laughs> Everything is proceeding according to plan. Yeah, no, but we'll, we'll be there as soon as we can. There's just a little issue that my boys are dealing with. Frankie's already half past. Oh, I gotta go! The time is running out, and if we don't do Shut down a respectable place like that, but rules is rules. If she can't meet the deadline, there's nothing we can do. What can I say? Time is ticking away. Is ticking away. We need to make her move right now. We gotta move that she somehow. Oh, ah, this is ridiculous. Come on, we need to get to the bottom of this. Gerard. Over here. What is it for? Shifty, knock it off! We need to see. Help me with the cheese. Behind the door. Sister, grab a tablecloth. We'll wait, wait until the coast is clear. clear. And no one's looking over here. here. Don't cause a scandal. Reach for the handle. Now's, Now's the, the perfect, perfect time to open up the door. See what's behind. Nikki, you don't want to do that. You'll miss the dance break. Dance and sing. Did with cash and fromage Two hundred dollars I counted each buck And a cheese wheel as big As a tire from a truck The gang sat in silence Gambino had drawn Something smells wrong And it ain't Parmesan But it won't take me long There's no doubt To figure this whole mystery out For Georgie, poor girl don't know zip This thing's an iceberg And pearls is just the tip There's no use trying to lie It's a wily Mickey Diamond P.I. 
I am. Now let me get this straight. The big cheese. Yes. This big cheese? Not necessary, fingers. This big cheese is a raffle prize. That's right. There's a, a, a raffle at the orphanage tonight, and the cheese can't be late, so if you just let us take it away. And the money? Ticket money. Oh, those are some pricey tickets. It's a very big cheese. Ah, oh, hi there, boys. What's been going on? Oh, my. Where did that giant cheese come from? <laughs> it wasn't in the back room, was it? It's a donation to the orphanage, sweetie. Nothing to worry about. Best you go powder your nose. Leave us to it. Okay. I try to keep her out of these things. She, she ain't a big fan of our charity work. Now we must be getting to the orphanage. Very well, then. Me and Lily will just escort you over there with the cheese. The big cheese. And the money. Oh, that won't be necessary. No, <laughs> I think it will. You don't have a problem with that, do you? Boss! The time! <laughs> well, we, 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 ain't, we ain't going straight to the orphanage. Oh, no. No, no we gotta go a, a, a different way to, um, to... Weigh the cheese. Exactly. <laughs> Where? Uh, the railway station. They got a giant scales for a way in the trains. Do, do. <laughs> of course. And we can't price it up without an accurate weight. You're not that we're selling it. Oh. Right, boys? <clears throat> right, right, boss. Right, right, right. Boss. <laughs> so, as you can see, we can't go the normal way because we have to way by the railway. And it's a very long and boring route going the way, 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 way. So best just leave us to it. Oh, I can take, for it. take care of these boys, Mr. Diamond. After all, I am a woman of the Lord. <laughs> yeah, thanks for the offer, sister, but I still have a few questions. You're aware of the laws about selling cheese, Mr. Gambino. We ain't selling nothing. Selling it or not, the law states it is illegal to distribute cheese made with unpasteurized milk outside your own premises. That cheese cannot leave this building unless you're planning on breaking the law. Hey, maybe you could raffle the pearls instead. Now look here, Diamond. I ain't got a clue what happened to those pearls. Did someone say pearls? <laughs> Georgie, sweetie, please. Georgie. Now ain't a good time. Ah. <laughs> now, where were we? Oh, I don't know. I forget. <laughs> the legality of cheese distribution, boss. Gee, thanks, right. Shifty. That's right. So if you're planning on taking the cheese out of this building, I'm going to have to take you to the station myself. What evidence you got? What evidence I got? I got a room full of witnesses and a 200-pound block of cheese. That's what evidence I got. Well, I, uh... Well, you, uh... If you just let like me... if I just let you go to jail for 20 years? I... You... I... You... I... What is going on, Gambino? Look, I... what the hell is going on? Stop! Now you here, listen, Mr. Diamond. I will not have you bullying these sweet, innocent boys. Why, without them, there'd be hundreds of kids all alone in this city. It's only thanks to their generous donations that St. Bridges Home for Our from Children keeps on running. <sighs> Almost every cent they make in this place goes towards keeping us going. And this cash is their latest generous donation, which we need to take to the police station right now. I'm sorry, boys, I couldn't stay silent. Wait a minute. Is this true? The orphanage, the donations? Gospel truth, love, I swear it. Why the he <coughs> heck? <coughs> Do you owe the police $200? Unpaid taxes, we try to fight it. Explain that we're a tax-exempt institution. But we don't have enough money for legal help. Let me take a look at that. Oops, excuse Let me. Let me look at it first. There's no way you should be expected to have a tax bill, especially one so high. And this still doesn't explain the big cheese. It's... No, oh, it's for the big cheese. We have a distributor. We calls her the big cheese. It's lucky, really. It seems like every time the orphanage gets a tax bill, there she is with an order for something big. And we ain't got no choice. If we don't take the order, then we can't afford to keep the orphanage run. But who is she? Uh, 
Nobody knows. We've never seen her, right, boys? Right. She calls us up. We mix the produce, loads up the van, delivers the goods to the dock, and swaps the cheese for the lettuce, you might say. Yeah, something ain't right here. It's too much of a coincidence. And cops showing up with huge tax bills doesn't make any sense. Yeah, and it's always that horrible Chief Lawndale. That's her signature on the bill. Uh, wait a minute. Uh, Chief Lawndale was so intent on keeping you away from this place that she kicked you off the CPD. And even now she's still trying to intimidate you. And it's her that's demanding money from the orphanage. She is indeed taking food out the mouths of those poor, shivering, starving, penniless children. Exactly. Something is going on. You think there's some kind of connection? Well, something sure ain't right. Yeah, well, have no fear. Mickey Diamond is on the case. Lily, looks like we've got some investigating to do. Sister. Yes? Take that money to the police station as soon as possible. We need to make sure that the orphanage is safe. Everybody else, sit tight. Let's split up. Lily, I want to know about the big cheese. You say she phoned you up? Well, maybe we can trace the calls. You got it. Frankie. I want to know where this cheese is going. Talk to the other players in the city, see if anyone's moving any big parts. Right away, Mr. Diamond. What about you, Mickey? Me? <laughs> I'm going to the top. Always a lot of on the ball. Yet, Frankie? Nothing, Mickey. I've spoken to all the underground cheese distributors in the city, even Billy Stilton. Nobody's been shifting anything close to the size we have. Damn it. Okay, I'm gonna keep on investigating. I've talked Lily into the telephone exchange to try to get hold of those call records. Maybe we can trace where the big cheese has been phoned from. Good thinking, Lily. Keep in touch. He searches out. He searches out. He searches out. Who is the Trace the phone records. The name they're registered to is a misdirection. How do you know? No, that's the name, misdirection. Seriously? What is it, Mickey? Do you know what? No, I think it's a misdirection. We know we heard you. Who is she? It's a fake name, Finger. It's just misdirection. There's no just about it. We need to find her. She could be the key. Yeah, forget it. <laughs> Good work, Lily. Keep on searching. He searches out. He searches out. to the police station. Wish me luck. Oh, be careful, Mickey. If the chief is wrapped up in She could be this. dangerous, I know. But I gotta give it a try. A try what, Mickey? Have you found my pose yet? No! Get off the phone, Georgie! Ah, fine. Good luck, Mickey. See me, Diamond. Things getting a bit too hot to handle on your own. Not quite, Chief. Actually, I had some questions about some taxes you've been imposing onto a certain orphanage. I didn't know he was such a fan of charity, Mickey. Sadly, it ain't me. It's the state, you see. Why 
don't you come into my office and we'll have a little chat. Look out, Mickey Dunn. Like I said, boss, we've been having a few problems. One big problem as far as I can see, Frankie. A problem with a simple solution you're choosing to ignore. Look, Miss Cheese, we sign up to this to sell you the goods. We's good, hard-working cheese makers, but we ain't no hoodlums. In this business, Frankie, you gotta be able to do both. Now, deal with it or I'll come down there and deal with it myself. And I won't be worried about how much of a mess I'll make. Understand? Yeah, boss. I understand. You just gotta give us some more time. He's new to this. We don't know where to start. Okay. Well, here's where I'd start. Take a gun and shoot him in the head. Do not let me down, Gambino. Okay, Brown. Arts and literature. Who was the painter at the Sistine Chapel ceiling? Oh, heck, I don't know. Uh... Bobby Smudge. No, it worked. <laughs> Who the heck is Bobby Smudge? In my sister's living room last year. It's very, very good. Very reasonable. Oh, yeah, I know Bobby. He made a lovely job at my mother's hallway a couple years back. Well, it weren't him. It was Michelangelo. <laughs> Who the hell is that? I don't know. Sounds Greek. Uh, sounds expensive. Should have got Bobby Smudge. Uh, Frankie, honey, who is that on the phone? Nobody, darling. Uh, you, you enjoying your game with the boys? Uh, well, yeah, but... Oh, it's ever so difficult. I've not got any cheeses yet. No, maybe the less said about cheese, the better. I always thought they were pie. You know, like... Slice. Oh, don't be so ridiculous. Whoever had a pie that color? Uh, whoever heard of cheese that color? Oh, Technically, according to the instruction book, they are scoring wedges. <laughs> I ain't buying it. Yeah, I'm gonna duck out of this one. It's a bit difficult for little old me. Hey, no, 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 oh, sweetie, you gotta see it through to the end. Uh, you don't want to ruin the game for the boys, do you? Uh, you want Georgia to keep playing, don't you, boys? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cross, look at keeping her yeah. busy, just like you said. Wedges you got. Look at that. Ooh, you're winning. Here we go. Come on. See. Fine. Okay, come on. Blue. Geography. Oh my God. <laughs> Sister, are you okay? Did you make it in time? Oh, dear me, these habits are not designed for the modern woman. I nearly tripped over my skirt three times. Anyway, we held down a cab in the end. I told him all about the poor, feeble, impoverished, haggard children on the way over. The whole drive, I told him about their sorrows. Oh, what a sorry yep. state they're in. Anyway, when we finally arrived, he gave me the right for free. He'll be going to heaven. But uh, did you make it? Oh, yes, boys, I made it all paid up. The orphanage is saved thanks to you. Which is more than can be said for our cheese production. Oh, shoot. We've all been so busy, we haven't even begun the day's fermentation. Never mind the coagulation. <laughs> Don't make that sound so shifty, shifty. Oh, uh, sorry, boss. Well, look, I could ask Sister Nickinson to bring over some orphans. Give you a hand. Oh, no, no, you don't no, have to do that. Oh, nonsense. It's the least I can do. Come on. No, no really, Sister. No, we can fine. handle it's things. Fine. Okay. What dark, dense, igneous rock forms in the coolest lava? Oh, the hell should I know? The only rocks I'm interested in are my damn pearls. I don't think they're rocks. They made a cow. I don't care. The only thing I know is my precious pearls are gone and no one's doing anything about it. That is it. I'm going to the cops myself. Oh, no, 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 no
Frankie! What the hell is going on here? Oh, Georgie boss, she's gone. She's going to the police. We couldn't stop her. She's taking the car. Oh, shoot. What are we going to do? What's going on? It's Georgie. She's taking the car. She's going to the police station. Okay, well, where's Mickey? Well, I ain't seen him. You mean he ain't back yet? Well, last I heard he was with you. Last we heard he was going to the police station too. Where? Oh no! Oh, my head! Where the hell am I? What's that smell? <gasps> Sit down and shut oh, up! How Georgie? dare you! I'm warning you, Georgie. You keep bawling like that, it ain't gonna end well for you. Oh, what are you gonna do, arrest me? There are worse things than being arrested, <gasps> sweetheart. My fiance, <laughs> Frankie! Yeah, he ain't gonna help you now. In fact, you'd both be, both be a lot better off if you'd have just kept your big mouth shut. <laughs> I know that smell. It's cheese. I've warned you before. Just not go near that place, Diamond. For your own good. And yours, apparently. Mickey, what are you saying? I'm saying you're looking at the big cheese. <laughs> Hell! Congratulations, Diamond. Seems like you can't solve a case after all. Hey, you ain't gonna get away with this. Why? What you gonna do? Arrest me? You're a disgrace. A loose cannon and my hands are clean. Let's take a minute, watch your plan. Cause cops on the whole, they ain't your fan. Reckon your fate is in my hand. And self-destruction, <laughs> that ain't my style. Who do you think controls this place? Who do you think assigns each case? Who do you think? going on. The big cheese is locked back up in the cheese room. Georgie's walked out and there ain't no sign of her or Diamond. Oh, somebody's here. I gotta go. Hold your horses. I'm coming. 
Well, I'll get this one, shall I then, boys? Oh, Sister Miggison, hello there. And you brought the little ones with you. How lovely. Hello. Hello. We came here as fast as we could, didn't we, children? Oh, wonderful. Now, who knows how to make cheese? Uh, nothing would bring me more joy. Off you go, little ones. knowledge to you. What do we do? I don't know, Fingers. Oh no, still no sign of Mickey. I'm afraid not. Well, we could send the orphans out hunting there, ever so versatile, you know. They could be anywhere. Shifty. Uh, never mind. It is true, though. This is a big city. Yeah. Who's to say they ain't being shipped across Lake Michigan as we speak? If only we had a clue. Answer it. But what if it's the big cheese calling to shout at me again? Uh, just answer it. Okay, okay. Shh. Hello? Frankie. Frankie, oh, thank God, you've got to help me. Georgie, sweetie, where are you? I don't know. We've been locked up by that rotten chief, Lawndale. At the police station? What you do? No, not at the police station. In a basement! Oh, Frankie, it's horrible. My sable is on the floor. My nails, oh, they're ruined. Oh, he can't treat me like this baby. I'm a star. <laughs> uh, Georgie, it's Lily. Look, we can try and rescue you if you help us figure out where you are. Now, can you see anything? Well, I can see this place could use a lick of paint. Give me that. Oh. Lily? Mickey? Oh, thank goodness. Look, are you okay? Well, I got a sore head and I'm handcuffed to... to a star. Ah. <laughs> but apart from that, I'm dandy. Listen, this goes way deeper than we even thought. You gotta get us out of here. Oh, okay, well, where are you? I don't know. They knocked me out before stashing me down here. Uh, well, are there any windows? Wait. Wait, what was that? What? I think I heard the bell. We... There must be a clock tower nearby. Okay, uh, that's a start. Uh, Frank, have we got a map anywhere? Sure, uh, boys, go grab the map. Sure, sure thing, thing, boss. boss. Okay, what else? Uh, I don't know. Georgie, see anything on your way down here? Uh, I think we passed a dock on the way here. Yeah, you're right, I can see the water. Okay, uh, uh, can you see the sun? No. 
But it must be to the left of us, judging by the shadows on the floor. Mickey, someone's coming! Oh, shoot, Lily, we, we gotta go. Look, okay, Mickey, don't worry. I'll stay by the phone and I'll have a search party with you in no time. What you gonna do, Lily? Let me look at that map. Uh, there. It's just a process of elimination. We just gotta follow the clues, find out any place he could be, and then I believe we have a team of little investigators we can send out to go find them, right, Sister O'Hare? You just give the orders, Lily, and we'll send out the scout team. Just gotta follow down the clues. For example, Georgie left 5.45, arriving at the station by 6. So I would guess. So we to their location, must be less than an hour. Call it 60 miles or less That puts them somewhere in this circle Which means they can't be all that far We can use what little facts we know To work out where they are If we know where they're not We have a bad shot All logical deduction is the key a big area. Yeah, it's over 11,300 square miles. It's Pyre Square, guys. Well, that's Come just on. the start. Save a few of water and so must be by Lake Michigan shore within beach. And they're trapped inside a basement so that moves out any place there's a marsh or a beach. The sun was setting to their left side. So we need to start looking down. That puts them in Gary, Indiana. Well, that this is the destination. Let's load up the boats. If we know where they're not, we'll have a better shot. For logical deduction is the key. This task may seem colossal, but removing the impossible leaves us with a plausible guess at where they'll be. One last thing, cause there's the best. Could they be? It's been an hour, Frankie. There's nothing more we can do. We just have to wait. Look who I found! Mickey! Thank God it was really Oh, Mickey, wanted. thank goodness you're here. The big cheese has been calling. If we don't get her that big cheese, she's gonna kill us! What do we do? Oh, well, never mind about that. Why the hell did Chief Lawndale kidnap you? She's meant to be a cop. Yeah, well, let's just say she has an invested interest in the sale of the big cheese. <gasps> she knows about the big cheese? She is the big cheese, Shifty. What? what? And there's nothing else we can do. If there's corruption in the police, then who do we turn to? Yeah, not all cops. I didn't notice the sergeant's helping to stash me down in the basement. She got me out of sight before knocking me out. Maybe if we can get to them, they can catch her in the act, and we can take her down. Nah, it's not that easy. It's like she's always one step ahead of the game. Almost like she has an informant. 
Well, boss, only we know what goes on around here, and we'd never betray you. Right, Shifty? Right, boss. You, you family to us, we'd never stab you in the back or, or rat you out. Ain't it right, Larry? Larry? No, I was Larry! Larry! My own Larry the Rat! Larry. How could Larry. you? I'm sorry, boss. She offered me a big bag of money. It was before I even knew you guys. But you guys gave me something she never could. Did you say it? A family. No. I said it. I want to help. How could you do this to Frankie after all he's done for you? Yeah, get out of here, Larry! No, 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 wait! I can't look at him, don't look. You mean it, Larry? You really want to help? Sure, boss. I'll do anything! Tonight, I think we just got ourselves a double agent! Larry! <laughs> oh, that'll help, won't it, Mickey? Yeah, it sure will. But we gotta act fast before she notices that we've gone AWOL. Any ideas? We could invite her over to taste some cheese. Why don't you start making everything sound so shifty, shifty? I could tell her that, that Frankie has kidnapped her kidnappees. And if she wants to re-kidnap them, then she'll have to come soon while everyone is out. No, I, I don't think she'd be interested in getting us back once we've talked. Although there is one thing she does want to get her hands on. Of course. The big cheese. Yeah, what about her? No, the big cheese. The big cheese is big cheese. Oh, ah. nice. So, you phone her. Tell her everyone's out the way and that you'll leave the back door open so she can swipe the Wensley tail. Yeah, and meanwhile, Fingers, ring the police station, tell them there's been a break-in down here at the Menage. That way, we get her caught red-handed with half a ton of fromage. That's brilliant. Boys, you know what to do. Sure, sure thing, boss. Let's do it. Right, let's go here and start. How are we going to deal with this crazy No, I know. I'll run it. Hey! I'm alive, too. That's oh, hey, right. hey, sorry, Georgie, you okay? No! No, I ain't okay. Mickey, you're supposed to be helping me, and you're ruining everything. Yeah, Georgie, your poil's at my top priority. I don't care but... about the damn poils. I threw them in the lake. What? Yeah. Why? How could you? They were worth a fortune. What a waste. <gasps> a waste? Let me tell you about waste. For three long years, I gave you everything. And what did I get? What did I get? Three long years, I dance and sing. And what am I left with now? I should be dripping in diamonds dressed to the nines Not just a support act for cheeses and wines Things ain't gone how I planned It's Georgie's turn to take a It isn't right when it's cheese that takes the spotlight And all of the attention's on the parade Don't make things better when you're second place to better The greatest source of cheese and there is me I'm a star on the stage, I light up the room I'm trying to make a point Without myself this crummy joint would crumble to oblivion Like a slab of carefully It should be me. I'm not done. We live in squalor while you give away each dollar to orphans who don't give you nothing back. Cutting our expenses while you're doling out well endless. That's when my resolve began to crack. I should be raking in the hundreds when I sing a song. Instead, I got a bag made by some fella who spelled Gucci wrong. I give the stage my everything. I won't do it for free The money that we make Should go to me Mama always told me Georgie girl, you reach for the stars And don't you stop till you get there It looks like I got lost somewhere along the way But if you were gone, Frankie, out of the way I turn this place into my 
my cabaret I knew I could get you arrested with cheese If caught with a ton of prohibited cheese I called up the cops, but they didn't care So I had to find a detective I swear If you were caught red-handed Surely you'd be reprimanded You would be jailed, my plan would succeed And I'd be the one who's left holding the deed control of running my bar. Goodbye to orphans, now I'd be the star. I was so close. Destined to fly, reach for the sky. I took a wrong turn and see I'm in a mess head for less. Here's the where I'm meant to be. Who gives the wrong? Who never fall into obscurity? It's me. I want an idol cause I'm near I need to see my name up there in lights I've reached my deadline It's time I was the headline This star is gonna soar to dazzling heights You've ruined my chances to love me more It's time I took a stand Look out, I'm headed for the door Without a doubt, I'm walking out For this I guarantee This girl who's in a rage Should have the highest wage on his way, boss. Yeah, and the big cheese will be here any minute. Oh, shoot. We had no time to lose. Everybody to action stations. No! I will not be ignored. I'm a star! Georgie, please be quiet. I will not be silenced. I am fabulous! Quiet, just like you said. See, this is why it's good to have someone on the inside. Now, let's make up with the good of stuff. Not so fast, Mabel. What the? Looks like the jig is up. <laughs> well, congratulations, Diamond. Seems like you escaped from my basement and made yourself some little friends. So, I don't see no badge, Mickey. You got no authority over me. It looks like there's nothing you can do. There's a room full of witnesses watching you steal a 200 pound block of cheese, Lawndale. You know what'll happen when we get you in front of a court? You know what, Lily? I do. You're gonna turn up at the station and spin a story about how the chief of the police is masterminding an illegal produce ring and the only witnesses are a disgraced cop and a bunch of shady cheese peddlers. Now I've been a cop a good long while. There's no way in hell I'll go to trial. I'll cover my tracks. Hey, that's just my style. And kid, there ain't a thing you can do. There's no words I understand, not a word in my head that I've written what you say. On the other hand, no, these boys here, whoop, I know there's a room that's full of evidence to lock them all away. There might not be a lot of proof that I've been buying, but there's a hell of a lot of evidence to prove you've been making and selling. So here's what's gonna happen. You're gonna keep your mouth shut, you're gonna keep making me cheese, and you're gonna keep paying those crooked up tax bills and there's nothing any of you can do about it! Chief Lawndale. Oh, hey guys. What are you doing here? Uh, arrest those crooks! Mabel Lawndale, you are under arrest. Now, boys, remember, I'm your commanding officer. We've had our suspicions about you for a while now. You're going down for a long time. Y you'll never take me alive! But boys! <laughs>
is she? I keep searching. I'll call for backup. Oh no, she got away. What are we going to do? How are we going to keep feeding those poor, shivering, starving, penniless children? Well, you can stop paying tax for a start. What do you mean, love? She just admitted she was cooking the books. Whether the cat or not, sister, you're free. No more tax bills. Oh, you're right. Oh, praise the Lord, he's done it again. I must go tell you the nuns. Sister Mickison would be so pleased. Oh, oh. oh, you can't tell this to me, Frank. I'm a star. Georgie, <laughs> we're through. I'm done, and you're fired. I don't need you. I don't need your club. I'm gonna be a star. Get out of my way. Sorry about all that commotion, folks. We got officers hunting all over town for that crooked chief. Now, as for you. Sergeant, Sergeant, please. It was all my idea. Throw the book of me, but don't you go arresting my employees. They go, boys. Whoa, they were just doing as they were told. Frankie, Frankie. Our chief of police was manipulating you. This is on us. Hell, this is pretty embarrassing as a whole for the CPD, so uh, we'll keep this quiet if you do. Sounds like a good deal to me. Hey, boss, if, if we're not paying taxes no more, does this mean we're going straight from now on? <gasps> yeah. I think we probably can. <laughs> well, selling cheese directly from wherever you make it is perfectly legal, so I don't see why not. You hear that, boys? We're going legit. Yeah. Yeah. We're going legit. We're going legit. And uh, as for you, Mr. Diamond, I believe we owe you an apology. Uh, now that we'll be a man down at the station, how about coming back to join the force? Nah, I'm afraid not. <laughs> huh, you, you like working alone? No. I like working with my partner. I always thought that I was better working alone But I could not have cracked this case all on my own You saved my ass today and hey a hundred times before So maybe we should have two names up on the office door And we'll be the best Second to none, cause maybe two heads are better than one. I got mouth, you got smarts, but we are greater than the sum of our parts. Cause as one, we will ace every single challenge we face. Lake and Diamond always crack the case. So, Lily, what do you say, partner? Mickey, you know that this has always been my dream Perhaps you're right, together we make quite a team I'll come out from behind my desk and show them what I got I'll take a chance, so shake on it Let's give this thing a shot And we'll be the best, second to none Greater than the sum of our parts Cause as one we will ace Every single challenge we face Wake and diamond always crack the case And then once the fermentation is complete We can move on to the next stage which is Well done, you're picking this up so quickly Are we nearly finished Larry? It's time to head back to the orphanage Almost sister, there's just one last thing we need to do Who wants to try some cheese? Yeah! Come on then Look boys, we've exceeded last month's earnings again Everything's been great since we went legit Sure has Oh, such wonderful news boys I tell you, with the money you've been sending our way We're able to bring a new wing onto the orphanage Soon there'll be a home for every homeless child in Chicago Those poor defenseless children Who have no place but to rule Finally have a place to live Cops or shady deals And if we have any trouble at all We know who to call
Thank you.